everybody, my name is Scott Silcox, and I'm from Aurora, Ontario, and I just have a quick little story to tell you about Aurora hockey rinks. Um, in the fall of 2011, I had a fun little art show held in Aurora at the Aurora Cultural Center called SCORE, and it, it's, a, it's kind of a celebration of sports, art, and history, and heritage, and part of the show, I thought, I'm going to do a little history on the six indoor ice rinks that Aurora's had in its history. The first one was called the Aurora Roller Rink. It was built in 1885, um, and, and it ceased existence sometime around 1910. We're not sure when. Um, and it was a roller rink, so people would rent roller skates, and they would go skating, kind of skate the oval, and there were all sorts of rules, etc., um, which are really fun, and you'll see in the link to this video the rules, which I think you'll get a great kick out of. Um, but you know, a couple of great things about this rink. And when the weather got cold, they did freeze it, and so you were then allowed to ice skate, um, and so it qualifies as the first of the, of the indoor rinks in Aurora's history. Um, and there's a great story about Aurora and Newmarket kind of arguing who had the larger rink. Um, Newmarket uh, people claim they did. And if I could just read this, I think it's just you get such a kick out of it. I'm not sure if you'll see it in the video, but I'll read it as we're standing here. This is from the Aurora Banner, Friday, January 15th, 1886. We noticed the remark of one of our Newmarket Cotums a few weeks ago stating that the Newmarket Roller Rink was considerably larger than the Aurora Rink. After making some inquiry, we have received the information that the entire building in Newmarket is 40 feet by 80 feet, while the skating floor here in Aurora is 32 feet by 128 feet, giving the Aurora Rink 896 feet more than the entire building in Newmarket, besides having several rooms, etc. Better try again, Newmarket. Uh, so even then, uh, you know, a hundred and something years ago, Aurora and Newma Newmarket were going at it tooth and nail. At any rate, so this rink existed in, in 1885 to about 1910. Aurora's second rink, and I'm not going to tell quite a, such a long story, and I'm sorry this is crumpled and creased, but at any rate, you'll get the gist of it. Um, the second rink was built in 1913. It was built just on Young Street at the, in the hollow just south of Church Street in Aurora, and you can see the link to see the map where this was located. Um, but so this rink was built in 1913. In a month, it took them one month to build it. It cost them $8,000. And the ice surface was 90 feet wide, which is larger than a current rink. You know, the standard NHL rink now is 85 feet wide. So it was 90 feet wide by 190 feet long. An NHL rink is 200 feet long. So it was wider, but a little bit shorter than an NHL rink. At any rate, this rink, uh, the roof collapsed in 1929. Um, and a new rink, the third Aurora rink, was built called the Aurora Arena or, in later days, the Aurora Memorial Arena. So this rink was built in uh, the fall of 1930, opened in December 1930. It had one ice pad. The ice size was 75 feet wide by 175 feet long, so 10 feet shorter than an NHL standard rink and 25 feet, I'm sorry, 10 feet narrower than an NHL rink and 25 feet shorter, so it was quite a small ice surface actually. So this was kind of a, you know, a great Aurora rink from 1930 until 1965 when it caught fire and, and burned to the point that they couldn't fix it. So there was a great debate in Aurora whether they should fix it, build a new arena here or whatnot. It was ultimately decided to build the Aurora Community Center, which still stands right now, the Aurora Community Center. And the Aurora Community Center was opened in the fall in September of 1967. It had one ice surface at the time. Um, that ice surface, just sticking on sizes for a sec, was 85 feet wide, which is the NHL standard, by 190 feet. So it was still 10 feet shorter than an NHL rink. So a second rink was added, the ACC2. It was added in uh, 1996. Um, and that surface, we're told, is an NHL standard size, 85 feet by 200 feet. Then the fifth Aurora um, indoor ice complex was the Aurora Family Leisure Complex, which uh, was opened, the rink portion was opened in October of 1987, and then the rest of the complex a, a few months later in early 1988. Um, this complex has one ice surface, it's, it's still in existence, and that ice surface is a standard NHL size of 85 by 200 feet. And then the, the sixth complex in Aurora is the Stronach Aurora Rec Center that, that was opened in 2006. Um, it was called, when it opened, the Aurora Rec Center, but now it's the Stronach Aurora Rec Center. Um, it's got two ice surfaces. Both are NHL regulation uh, 
uh, ice surfaces. And so those are basically the six arenas in Aurora's history. Um, there is actually one other indoor rink in Aurora, privately owned uh, by an Andrew Dunning. Um, I've, not I've not included that in, in this video uh, because it's a private rink and, and um, so you're know, not open to the public and, and so I'm not going to include it because you know, out of respect for somebody's privacy. And there we go, folks. Thanks very much for this and I hope you enjoy that little history lesson. Bye.